So a ton of people responded pretty insanely to the uh, previous video where we were talking about combos. I'd say after that, the next biggest request I always see is button layout. Like, what button layout do you use? And what button layout should I be using? Because a lot of people are playing this game on Arcade Stick. It's designed for controller, and I think on controller default is absolutely fine. I'm not a huge fan of having your assist buttons over here. I, I, my, I can't do one hand and the other hand outside of D-pad. Doesn't work for me. I never would map these to anything on old games, but uh, for anybody else that's playing, that's kind of fine. You just get used to that and you're good. But for anybody that's using an arcade stick, let's go over the different type of button layouts you can use because there's the default way, there's one way, and there's another way. And I, I'm sure you could do it other ways, but these are the ways that I would much prefer to do. By default, the game resorts to this. Reset to default. This I cannot stand because I am not a big fan of using these buttons over here, the yellow buttons on my arcade stick. Most arcade sticks are going to come with eight buttons on, this, on the front. I hate using these buttons. I just want to get rid of them. I cannot, I cannot stand them. So by default, I believe Dragon Ball has L1 as your assist. It technically has R1 or this button as your other assist. No, that's actually, this actually is under Dragon Rush. So. You can play the game this way, it's just that for me personally, I am not comfortable with doing all this shit. I cannot, personally cannot stand it. What I do is this. Map the buttons to your light attack being square, your medium attack being triangle. Right now your heavy attack is, uh, you know what I think? That is actually default. So heavy attack is on circle, and then special attack is here. There is other ways, but this is the default way you get on a controller. So it's like light, medium, heavy, special. Keep it that way. In my opinion, keep it that way because it's nice having these these four attack buttons be right there. The assists are where things get kind of crazy. Um, I emulate another versus game, which is Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, as well as Marvel 2. I put my assist 1 right here and my assist 2 right here. So. I have only access to, oh god, I have only access to these six buttons, and these over here don't do shit. Um, they don't do shit. So, let's go back. And light, medium, heavy, key blast. Key blast is the first one down here. Assist one, and assist two. Wonderful. Some people get confused though, they're like, well how the hell do you, how do you pursue in? You gotta like, you gotta like, you gotta like press these buttons over here if you want to dash in now because this is your L2 and this is your R2 Some people don't realize that to manually do this if you want to do a grab in this game It's just light and medium at the same time So that's what I do. I prefer to do manual grabs and manual air dashes jump up air dash Air dash is heavy and key So all you got to get used to if you're on an arcade stick is the fact that you're over here and you're over here so when I launch up for a combo, I usually just manually air dash. Uh, but that's but that's just me. Uh, you'll get used to it though. I, I like pressing a lot of buttons when I play versus games. It makes me feel very good. Uh, so all my attacks are here, and when you sparking blast, it's just like a Marvel versus Cap. <clears throat> you slap all four of the buttons on front. Uh, some people put that actually on the touchpad right here. Not bad. That shit's not bad. This is the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 slash Marvel Infinite layout. I like it a lot. I like having Assist 1 and Assist 2 right here. So that, like we said, Dragon Rush, Pursuit, and then Key Charge is just this, and then to do uh, Instant Transmission, I just press those two. So every mixture of these buttons does something. I don't know, I don't think medium, if you, you, don't, you don't have to ever cross your hands, which is wonderful. I hate crossing my hands. I hate doing that shit. I hated that about Marvel 3. I hated it. So, either way. Uh, this does a thing, this does a thing, they all do things. But there is another layout. If anyone played Marvel vs. Capcom 3, uh, that game took me a while to get used to because it did shit a lot differently. Uh, this is also very similar to Guilty Gear as well, if you want a Guilty Gear style layout. So light attack, medium attack, heavy on R1. So your heavy button is actually your traditional heavy button over here. And then your key blast is down here on X, so that doesn't stay. The big change is that heavy goes over there, and then assist one is right here, and assist two is right here. Uh, 
this layout isn't bad. Like, this is completely fine. Like, I, I actually, the cross section of, like, pressing an attack and getting an assist at the same time isn't bad. This is, this is completely acceptable. It's just not what I do. It's just not my personal preferred way. Uh, but in all honesty, I played Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for a long-ass time like this, and I was completely fine. My biggest issue with it is that if you do play this way, if you want to dash at the opponent, you gotta press heavy and key at the same time. And this is this is a this is an ambidextrous move to do if you're on arcade stick. You gotta press this button and this button at the same time. Yeah. Um, or, or else you can use these buttons over here if you want. It's really up to you. Um, Dragon Rush is still the same. It's still these two right here. Uh, but this shit is this is the this is the rough one. I'm actually not too sure how people figure that out they might use all eight buttons uh but that's that's the other way in my in my personal opinion i i prefer uh marvel 2 style because it keeps dragon rush on light and medium it keeps the uh technically light kick medium kick buttons as your pursuit option so you have the top ones and the bottom ones that do the big mechanics of the game and then your assists right next to them so uh that's about it that's the that's the the layout I prefer, and I prefer it specifically because I play a lot of other versus games the exact same way. And switching button layouts like crazy isn't a good idea. Like stick with one, and if you keep switching, you're not gaining any muscle memory. Like that's that's the part that hurts the most is you're gonna lose all your muscle memory if you start switching from arcade stick to arcade stick, much less arcade stick to controller. Different button layouts from every single thing. That's that's one of the harder parts of learning a fighting game where everyone's like, I just gotta switch to arcade stick and I'll be instantly better. Not true. Maybe over time you'll get better, but you're losing all your muscle memory, and that sucks. So pick a layout, pick one, and stick with it. It'll help out a lot. <laughs>